On October 1st to 3rd, 60 experts in the field of climate policy and science gathered at the Center for International Governance Innovation to explore some of the global issues and challenges regarding the threat of climate change and the need for an ambitious and global response. Throughout the conference, we had the opportunity to sit down with some of the participants and engage with them on their opinions and insights into some of the key topics that were discussed. What is the equitable burden sharing paradigm that you should have uh, in dealing with climate change? Because all of us recognize that uh, climate change involves a very major transition in the way we produce goods, in the way we consume goods and services. And um, that particular cost has to be shared equitably. So this is very simple. And it is difficult because who makes the judgment? that national actions are consistent with the international requirement. So this is somewhat difficult. Of course, here again, we are facing uh, one of the problem is that at international level, we create a mechanism for negotiation and we do not have any mechanism for implementation. As a matter of fact, at international level, uh, the institutional uh, the institution which has the ability, which has the uh, uh, capacity for implementation do not have some legitimacy. And those who have legitimacy do not have the capacity. Well, I think a lot of the discussion, and this has been something we've talked about at the conference, has been either climate, climate change, here's the science and here's why we need to do this, or uh, economics and here's the sort of, you know, you hear people talk about green jobs and economic growth, which is very important, but I think those two have to be incorporated and integrated better. And in particular, I think climate perhaps needs to be folded into discussions about development uh, and discussions about economic growth. So in, uh, in the emerging economies, I think we're only going to really make uh, progress if we fold climate in to be really integral into how those economies develop, how they uh, take on a new path. And in the advanced economies like the United States, we have to continue to make the case that the strength of the American economy and the strength of the advanced economies lies in continued leadership uh, in this new low carbon world. If actually there is a great deal being done nationally, surely it should not be beyond our capacity to try and weave these success stories together into an international uh, narrative. Um, if it makes sense for India to make those kind of investments, uh, I see no reason why we cannot construct a global arrangement uh, whereby we can bring about change across the world. And that is something which cannot be done in a uh, negotiating style which is still very, very adversarial, where you, each country is trying to protect its turf, is trying to protect its interests, uh, rather than looking at what is the maximal solution that we can construct, rather than settle for something which is a least common denominator.